Michigan parents are also answering a call for help. Tuesday, it was adoption day, and state leaders say families, well, they're stepping up, offering adoptive homes to kids in foster care. Lindsay Veramis tells us if their efforts can keep up with demand. It was a day for family at the Supreme Court, for little ones, for toddlers, for teens. I got him straight from the hospital, and he's been with us ever since. My niece lost custody, so she asked me to get him. Soon to be one-year-old Nishan is Melissa Crompton's second adoptive child. She made it official before the court Tuesday and hopes others will do the same. It's worth it. It's well worth it. It's going to be a challenge, that I know. The need is, is, is quite significant. We're making babies faster than we have families that want and, need and can care for them. Chief Justice Robert Young says there were about 20,000 children in some type of care when the Supreme Court started its annual adoption day, opening usually private hearings to raise awareness and inspire potential parents. That number has now dropped to 13,000 kids, with 3,000 ready for adoption. Every child has a family. We just haven't discovered all of the families yet. According to the Department of Human Services, Michigan is a leader in placement. It's been astonishing to me that children are adopted every day in Michigan who you would think would have a difficult time being adopted. Kids with special needs or challenging backgrounds are finding homes. It can be an uphill battle. <laughs> he likes to get into everything. But it's one people like Crompton are happy to fight. In Lansing, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 47 News. Tuesday was the 10th anniversary of Adoption Day in Michigan. 33 counties held events.